I mean, you, you kind of see a gun and then you know you're hit with something. Um, it was very shocking. Only on 13, a woman recounts a terrifying experience on a walk with her husband when a passing car slows down and a passenger starts shooting at her. The gun wasn't real, but her fear and concern certainly are. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Mulholland. Sabrina is off tonight. That drive-by shooting left the couple with injuries, and they weren't the only victims that night. Kumi Tucker has the story you're seeing only on 13. The couple was out for their usual evening stroll, and they were just about to cross Park Avenue when they saw a gun, and they heard pops one after the other. A Tuesday evening stroll in Mechanicville turned scary. Katrina Osterhout and her husband were crossing the street when from the back of a passing car, someone pulled out a gun and started shooting at them. And I was hit in the face directly. I was hit in the side and my husband was hit in the hands. Um, and it was unbelievably shocking. Um, the boy was wearing one of those red bandanas um, covering his face. Police believe it could have been a gel blaster shooting water-based gel beads called Orbeez. Teens across the country are taking part through social media in something called the Orbeez Challenge, driving and shooting the guns. Osterhout says it is no trivial game. It felt like if you were like behind like a big truck and they shot up a rock, it really felt like a rock hitting my face. I mean, what made it even worse is that it could have destroyed her eye. She was recovering from eye surgery. Mechanicville police say they're investigating at least one other incident. Osterhout says she learned through Facebook of two more victims in Stillwater that same night. She says it was reckless and dangerous and a public safety concern. I mean, people walk these streets all the time. I mean, you'd think you'd feel safe in Mechanicville, but if, you know, teenagers are going out, you know, shooting at people, it's terrifying. Um, and I do believe the, you know, the community should know about that. Osterhout didn't just take a physical hit, she took a financial one as well. She lost significant income from having to cancel clients so that she could make emergency medical appointments. In Mechanicville, Kumi Tucker, News Channel 13.